It's Deanna with Dee's Garden Adventures. There's not, again, not a whole, whole lot going on. It's been rainy again this morning. Rained a little on me when I was out here working or a little while ago around lunchtime. Um, and it's going to be raining bad again here after a while. Well, this is my shed, uh, shed, <laughs> not my shed, my greenhouse. And y'all have seen some of these plants before because I've yet to transplant them because, <laughs> you know, Deanna's a little slow doing it by herself with the pain and the rain and, you know, all that good stuff. Anyway, I have my okra finally came up. Those I'm going to work on a, if I can get some time between rain tomorrow, work on putting them on in pots in those jugs. Cut those jugs and plant my okra. Another tomato, another tomatoes, other tomatoes. Which I'm not in a real big hurry to get those in because <laughs> to extend the life kind of my my uh, tomato production, I should say. I do need to transplant them up, but when if I have a tomato plant that gets decimated by hornworms or gets a disease or something I can replace replace it there's some more peppers that I've got to get out uh, what else came up that's an okra these are yellow wax bush beans that came up and where is that little thing what is this one cayenne pepper Oh, that looks a little, it's a pickling cucumber. It looks like it's got some, something wrong with it. And something wrong with it is crawling on it. Which is very, very difficult to see. I don't know if I can focus on it. But there is a bug there. You just can't see it, but it's there. It is teeny tiny. Tea tiny. What focus? There he is. He is just to the left of that white spot. Whoops. And uh, I don't know what it is, but it's fixing to be smushed. But that looks, I'm going to have to plant some more because those look terrible. That looks terrible. Yeah, that looks absolutely awful. I may have to plant another one of those. I don't know what's wrong with that one. And a buttercup squash. It came, those came up. I don't know what that is on it. Maybe some kind of spider web or something. And then I had, where is it? My sweet potato vines that I've got to plant. Although I already have three out there planted. I need to plant these three. One of my tomatillas came up. You have to have two tomatillas. Um, in order to get um, what is it? Germination. Not germination. Pollination. That's coming up. Where is it? Oh, it's a butternut squash. We'll move it out of that. Well, we'll just set it right in, in this basket, little black basket I have. And there's an artichoke. And this one has no, I, did, I forgot to mark it. So I don't know what it is. It looks like it's some kind of squash or cucumber seed in there. 
but it's on its way up. There were a couple I forgot to uh, put the name on. Let me scoot these back. Let's get these back. Oh, there's another pickling cucumber. Good. It's not come up yet, but hopefully it will. And I'll just cover these up. And this one right here, I forgot to mark the cup. So, and there's a seed. It's a squash or it might be pumpkin, actually. Because I did plant some pumpkin. Maybe this other one's pumpkin. Anyway, I gotta get that bean in the ground, <laughs> in a pot somewhere. Look at all those. Oi. I'm telling you, it takes a while when you're doing this all by yourself. And try to work some on top of that. And my yard is, of course, still a mess. My uh, transplanted trumpet plant. It's not a vine. They are there are trumpet vines, but there's then there's the just the plant that gets really tall. I cleaned. I didn't really transplant it out. I cleaned it out, gave it more more soil, and it was looking like that one. So that one's got to be done. See. And I was gonna show you. My tomatoes over here. Where is it? There's one itty bitty baby tomato. See it? Uh oh. Leaves in the way. There it is. The wind is blowing bad, y'all. And that's about all that's really changed. I spent an hour or two cleaning up, checking all the leaves on these tomato plants found some worms on some of them, caterpillars, and eggs. So I went through and checked all the leaves real well, took the ones that had eggs off, killed the little caterpillars or worms, whatever they were. I mean, I found a hatched on one of these, one of these down here. I, I took the leaf off and I've since burned it in the trash. But uh, it was covered in little, little bitty baby worms or something that had hatched. So, I, I was fixing to be overrun with something on my tomato plants. As I was going to be on these daikon radish right here. They look kind of pathetic now because I cut a whole bunch off. They had bugs on them, worms on them, caterpillar, and eggs. And they were really gonna, I was really gonna be run over with something on those. So. That's about all that's going on. I am gonna add another, if I get time today after I go and clean and make sure the squash don't have bugs on such on them. Add another line. Uh, another round of twine about a foot up maybe for these tomatoes and I did that with the um, watermelon this one gave it another line because it's getting tall this one it still is barely tall enough to, yeah, it's still not tall enough for me to feel comfortable tying it, but it'll get there. There's my cantaloupe. So, that is what is going on. I don't have any more zucchinis that have opened up yet. I've had male flowers opened up, but not female. And my corn. It's a going. There's a bean with a bunch of flower buds on it. And a baby bean. Uh oh, a baby bean. A couple of baby beans. So. Alright, y'all. That is 
about it. Lucy, you want to come say hi? Lucy! She's probably... She's not too mad at me. Uh, she kind of doesn't want to come over here because I gave her a bath today. Lucy, ta. Lucy. Come here. Come say hello. Come here. I know. I was mean. Give her and Harley and my other dog Hops all a bath in dawn today. Because the fleas. The fleas. Alright, y'all. I hope y'all have a good one. Um, I'll also put a little picture on. I had picked my um, blueberry. had three blueberry. My blueberry plant had three blueberries ripe on it. Man, they were good. I could not believe how good they taste compared to the ones bought at the store. Oh, and they're good. There's a few more on there, so it's not going to be a great big harvest, but it'll be good. It'll taste good anyway. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good one. Bye.